Stephen Volker is the founder and CEO of the Family Online Safety Institute. He joins me now. When you saw Zuckerberg's apology, what did you make of it? It was very moving. Um, in fact, at the very beginning, when the CEOs came in, everyone stood up and many of the families held uh, photographs of their loved ones aloft. And it was poignant. Uh, the, the crowd was silent. Uh, I've never really experienced anything like it on the Hill. The, the difficulty is how to put in force uh, effectively the raft of policies that these companies say are already there. And I do sometimes wonder, this thing grew much faster than anybody could ever have expected. Is it possible to put in place satisfactory policies that would make a considerable difference? And if so, what are those policies? Well, I mean, the first thing is, this is a very serious set of complex problems. Uh, and in fact, five different bills were discussed this morning, um, all of them trying to tackle slightly different things. And, and these serious complex issues require, require serious debate. Um, unfortunately, there was a lot of grandstanding, and this is an election year after all, um, and a lot of finger pointing, and, and even discussion about the Chinese Communist Party gaining access to data from US citizens, which had absolutely nothing to do with the topic. So um, Congress has somewhat itself to blame. I mean, it, I've been watching this debate for two decades, and they often ask the CEOs of companies for their support for their bills, but quite frankly, they don't need their support or permission. They can just go ahead and create the bills. Right. And we have failed. Right. They have, we have failed to create even a federal privacy law upon which safety bills could be built. Now, if we call up the list of the CEOs and the various things, uh, who was there, and the, the, the top ones were there. You've got Zuckerberg, you've got Yaccarino from X, Spiegel from uh, Snap, uh, Citroen and Chu. Of Meta, X, Snapchat, uh, Discord and TikTok, who do you think is the one that is least hitting the target? Oh, gosh. I mean, I'm sorry to have to say X. I mean, Twitter used to be quite engaged with our organization, and they are no longer. And that is directly related to Musk's takeover. Uh, not only the slashing of their trust and safety teams. I used to sit on the Trust and Safety Advisory Council. That was cut. Um, but also the, the activities and the behavior of the owner himself. Uh, and making scandalous and uh, outrageous comments uh, that, that, quite frankly, create an atmosphere on the platform mm. which is anything but trusting and safe. I'm grateful to you, sir. Thank you very much indeed.